first, open the waterproof controller. You will see the connection terminals inside. The first one, P+, is where you connect the positive from the solar array. The next one, P-, is where you connect the negative from the solar array. We do not recommend installing batteries with these systems, so you can skip B plus and B minus. Next we've got 1, 2, 3. These are the three wires that come from the pump. 1 black, 2 blue, 3 brown, as you can see on screen. Next, COM2 and TH. This is for the optional tank sensor. Lastly, COM1 and WH. This is for the dry run protection sensor that goes in the borel and is essential. First step, switch the controller off. Second step, connect your pump. 1 to black, 2 to blue, 3 to brown. Step 3, connect your dry run sensor. COM1 and WH. Step 4. Connect the optional tank sensor if necessary. Lastly, you will connect the positive and negative from your solar array. It is a good idea to test the voltage of the solar array to make sure it is within our recommendations. Then you switch on the controller, the system light will come on, the pump light will come on and the MPPT light will come on and start flashing. You have done the installation correctly. The timer switch determines how long the controller will wait before switching on the pump after dry run protection has kicked in. Leave this on 30 minutes. The speed determines how fast the pump is pumping. We recommend leaving this on the maximum, but if you get too much water, you can always turn this down.